Any chance this can wait? No. Jim's on his way. I'd like to announce something in the meantime. I was supposed to donate a signed copy of my book for the Sandy auction, and I went to see my parents last weekend and forgot to leave the book. Gary, meaning well, signed a copy of the book, forging my signature and writing the inscription. In German? Almost. In German, the words for enjoy and shred are a lot alike. They're nothing alike, but that's not the point. Take your time getting to the point, because as you can see, nothing else is happening right now. We've got five minutes. We do not have five minutes. The producers don't have five minutes. My point is that someone bought the book for a lot of money, and Neil's dropping everything to help me find out who it was so that I can give him or her a real signed copy of the book. So if there's anyone who was at the fundraiser or maybe knows the person who... Excuse me. You're dropping everything? No, I'm still very much doing my job. Except for right now. And when I'm trying to fix a Wikipedia page. Oh, forget that. Drop it. It's stupid. Everybody's here? Yes. Let's go around the room and everybody tell something about themselves. Do you need to go back to the control yes. room? Yes. Go. Fix the page. Get it fixed. Copy. Did you find out anything? Yes. A woman at the auction management company was moved by your story and a little concerned about going to jail for fraud. So she was happy to fax over the name and contact information of the person who bought the forged book. But you're not going to be happy. Was it bought by an inmate? I have a small, slightly disturbed following among white-collar criminals. The book was bought by Sidney Falco. I don't know who that is. It's Tony Curtis. Sidney Falco is a character from Sweet Smell of Success. The highest bid was anonymous? All the bids are anonymous. Joe Gillis is Sunset Boulevard. Walter Neff from Dublin Indemnity. Archibald Craven from The Secret Garden. I don't understand this at all. Someone wanted to create the impression of a bidding war. So total of nobody bid on the book. Except Sidney Falco from Sweet Smell of Success, who for some reason bid himself up with other fictional characters. Who cares? Someone gave $1,000 to Sandy Relief, and they think they have your signature. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You're at the bottom. There are clues here. I don't think so. There could be clues. There aren't. And you don't want to start looking for anagrams. Let's start looking Sydney... for anagrams of Sidney Falco and Sweet Smell of Success. Okay. The gender income gap starts at 50K. Men, 50K and above, are breaking for Romney. Women, 50 to 200K, were more likely to vote for the president, and it's the top 1% of female earners that went red. Now, here's where I'd like us to focus, because this is crucial. I'm sorry, but they need you. Wow. They're calling Ohio. We're on our way. You're back in 90 seconds. Uh, we'll pick this up after, okay? I'll get estimates from Boston. Thanks. Must get ben standing by. I don't see Sloan. Is that Sloan out there? Um, we'll go without her. Can you give me the Throw in Nevada another We're calling it. Get in the studio. Go blue, and that takes the president to 262. So At that point, he has a lot of different roads. Colorado, Florida, Ohio, and Virginia in that scenario. Any one of those states would throw the president over the top. Getting Mitt Romney to 270 at this point seems very, very difficult. So the president's getting closer and closer to that magic number of 270. He's winning in the states he needs to win. What I have can't be taught. Get her in the chair. I mean, it really started.